so welcome guys to another uh, video of boxploit and today we are here with you to give you a brief idea about google hacking database or which we call properly known as dorking so let me start out with the dorking one so till the time if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel go and hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well as do comment in which topic you wanted to get your next video on and uh, you can also view my previous uh, uh, videos on uh, bug bounties and recon part and this will be the recon I hope the fourth part on the uh, like the github uh, no, sorry the dorking one on google docs and how to like use google docs so before uh, using google uh, before getting into the video let's understand what is google doc so and how to use that google doc so what is google doc uh, basically we use filters in amazon flipkart to uh, like to shortlist or to uh, sanitize the product which you want like if you want a cloth of pink color of uh with a logo name say levis or a company name levis brand name there will be a caller or not so similarly that's are basically for the application but for internet we are having some google docs so what are google docs uh let me just uh give, give an example and you can find the dorking side dorking example if we go for the exploit db here like the first session is about the exploit then we are going for the ghdb which is the hacking database and google hacking database you can check it out and it's processing so let's take some time to process it out till the timing let's uh, open up notepad to understand uh, some of the criteria or some of the keywords which we need to identify and the second most thing if you haven't follow me on instagram go and uh, search bugsploit and follow me for being recently updated so we are having some common terms known as i and url in title and then the ex e, ext then in url uh, then there are many a lot of things but basically these are some keywords so what are these keywords uh, these are the filter keyword which we use to search for so uh, let's uh, take an example and let's go for pssw O R D, and like if I go, you can check it out. It's processing, processing. Let's check the system. Uh, let's uh, wait for till the time it's being located, and uh, yeah, it's taking a long, longer time because it is having a hell time. So you can check it out the DB password file env, and let me take an example of uh, let's say this one, and let me just uh, give you an example. Uh, and how it is working so this is actually the dot and what's the dot is about let me understand site the site name is pastebin.com and there we are finding the credential the star means the universal uh, like anything it can be first then we are going for the address gmail.com and the password will be there so if i copy and paste it out and if i do you will be checking it out you can say like open this link open this link you can see the username and the password expirations and this is for some some um, something it might be so you can check it out the username and the password which you can use it out it can be a database it can be anything so what is it actually like if i uh, actually uh, like if i remove this part and if i go for site dot paste so you can see all the search result which is coming is for site paste bin you can check the result like if i go down or if i go to page number eight also it will be paste bin only that means i am filtering my data that i want only pastebin.com data or i want only the data which is coming from pastebin.com and then i am uh, giving this uh, filter uh, or additional filter where i am actually searching for at the red gmail.com let's remove the password sessions and let's check it out so it will only give the email id uh, so let's open up and let's close this one and it is again asking so that's i'm not a human definitely i'm a robot who is recording this video so are you okay so you can check it out the account type and the details all about the giveaway i think it's a yeah it's a giveaway one and there are the email where you can check it out uh, the second most thing you can go for the gmail or if i go and check it for let's say uh, 
particular uh, user let's say uh, or a particular domain which we can call let's go out for microsoft.com m-i-c-r-o-s-o-f-t.com if there is any email or not so yes uh, oh my god it's actually open so you can check it out there is a microsoft.com email uh, but you can check the result that coming only for the paste bean.com so this is the way how we are actually using dorking so how it is helping in the recon part uh, so it can help in the recon part uh, to find the uh, environmental variable files to find the page particular page like to find the login pages also and uh, you can use the dorg.fasselhammer.me it's a site where it's a bug bounty helper here, here you can see the helping website and here let's say i am going for dot sorry gov.in and i am checking for directory listing vulnerability and okay so better luck my uh, i need to click it out so this is a directory listing vulnerability and uh, what is this dot is all about telling you so just telling you uh, you can see site what is a site i mentioned government.in and the entitle what is the entitle i told you entitle means the title of the page will be index of if the page is having the index of that means the directory listing is available so let make us a, a site where index of will entitle will be l-o-g-i-n so we are actually filtering all the login so let open it up open all these first three links and let's you can check it out this is the login portal this is again the login portal this is again the login portal so this way we can make our own docs as well as we you can also publish your docs in uh, Google uh, uh, like in exploit DB and there can be many more uh, so let's try something very usual or like this uh, this is a thing uh, let's go for environmental index of dot env so let's try this dot uh, entitle and then yeah so you can check the IP is uh, located and here is the like the server says are being given the environmental variables are being given this is the side where the like you can check it out the environmental variable panels actually nothing is there oh, okay so you can see the pdf and all these things the admin is here and in the admin you can go and list out the things which are there for you uh, so this way actually this uh works so basically the, the docs which i told you docs dot me it's a very helpful site and here if you go for let's say uh, gov.l so i know uh, many of you know about apache struts vulnerability and apache struts vulnerability is for the extension uh, like uh, dot do you can see it out here uh, i am destructing all the site which is having the extension dot struts dot do i can also like go for est dot action a c p i o n if this are having this thing then like if i open this and uh, you can check the it's download directory dot do next open the site it's dot action you can check it out uh, so this way actually you can find uh, uh, apache search uh, like uh, it can be having apache search now you have to cross verify or uh, using a uh, uh, like a uh, apache start vulnerability uh, payload you need to cross verify it is working or not so this way if you go for sql query sql errors you can go and type for sql errors also so you can go for like login page here i think admin one login dot php okay the site is not actually opening so let me just try for the next one the site can't reverse so let go for like without s go with that. okay so it's not working again so let's check for some of the this side this side can't work let's, go. let's leave the Karnataka size I don't know it's not working so it's it's a PDF so I don't think the PDF will be helping us uh, let's go with this so this side is taking a hell lot of time till the time let's go with the Madhya Pradesh one so yes this side cannot be reached out because it might be having the vulnerability which they have fixed it out so let's uh, uh, change the syntax from gov dot into let's say pk dot pk i am using pk pakistan sites so 
okay uh, so let's uh, open this link and if it is okay it's a freelancer uh, said so i don't be freelancer.pk it's a comment one which they are actually telling it out so let's open it out and let's see what's the error is coming over is if there is any sql error or not so there must be some sql error otherwise it won't be showing you by now let's do something okay so there must be some sql error you need to check it out uh where like sometimes give you a false positive also because sometimes there are backlinks and you can see warning expect parameters you can check it out in line number 14 or let me show you a example because i need to show you yeah you can check it out it's having a sql uh error uh like the error one now uh, where you can function include and all these things are not being there and this is actually giving you the error so this way if you go for uh, let's say install or set of file you can go with the install or set of file and there can be many more a lot of things here you can see like in url it should be the url should be installed setup or config there will be anything this way you can actually also you can customize your docs uh, according to one like if i wanted to let's say i wanted to uh, make a site I wanted to search a site let's say it can be site will be uh, xyz.com xyz.com and then i want uh, let's say the content should be uh, at the red gmail dot or at the red xyz.com xyz.com and then it will be uh, i'm using a pipe chain here uh, in title i n t i t l e CT. so uh contact uh contact and in exe you can give php and anything so what it will do it will actually search for the uh all the uh, email id the contact email id of that uh, xyz company uh who is having the that, uh, like domain of xyz if it is having uh, some other email id so it won't be so here i am using xyz.com and it will be fun. so let's try it out with microsoft only um or okay site let's say uh, google.com g double o g l e dot com and as gmail contact uh, so <laughs> if i open it out you can check it out in the support one it's there ceo email access then again you can check it out it's a support one here again the email id is being blinked out but it is having three doors or something like that and this way you can find some uh, information and it will actually help you out okay guys so this was all the video about google docking i hope you love the video don't forget to share subscribe and also comment uh, for the next topic till the timing bye bye meet you again